Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here and you're into 3D printing, photography and drones, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you won't miss anything. We're reviewing a printer today. We're reviewing the Elfin 3 Mini. I don't know, probably the one who know me and follow me already saw the Elfin 2 Mono SE review linked up here. It's the previous model. This printer promises exactly the same quality with a cheaper price and a more compact edition. I've tested it out and results are as expected, really amazing. Before getting into the review, I would like to tell you about a collaboration I have ongoing with this Instagram page run by a really good friend of mine, Giuseppe. This page uh, collects all sorts of information about 3D printing. He reviews filaments, he reviews printer, he talks about application of electronics to 3D printing. And it's a great place where you can go and boost your creativity. All the links to Giuseppe's page will be down in the description. Go pay Giuseppe a visit. I'm sure you will not regret it. Okay, unboxing experience was nice and okay. The printer comes right in one piece. There's nothing much to do. There's a box and in this box we'll find a nice yellow spatula, some uh, tools that you need, wrenches and stuff like that together with the USB. You will find some filters, a pair of gloves, an instruction manual and uh, basically you're set to go. Once you remove the plastic and all the polyester around it, the printer is pretty nice and neat and ready to go. As you can easily notice, there's not much difference between this one and the Elfin 2 Mono SE. I mean, they're pretty much the same size sitting on a desk, different size of build plate. But you know, it's, uh, what I like about this is this yellow coloring and the fact that it promises exactly the same quality. It's a monochrome uh, uh, printer. It has a 3.5 inch display, which makes it really nice. It's bright and uh, very, very counterintuitive. It has a Wi-Fi connection. The, you can send your sliced piece directly from your computer to your your machine it doesn't have a hard drive though and that's one thing that i didn't like a lot compared to her sister you need you have a nice uh, usb pen you need to have it plugged in and back if you want the file to go from one side to the other it still works but you know it's a hassle there's no assembly to do uh, you just need to do some calibration of, of the plate and once that's done, you can pour the resin in and start printing. What I love about this printer is the slick design, this like triangle pyramid shape, and it makes it like a piece of design. It can easily stand close to your, uh, your Mac and your studio without uh, ruining the atmosphere. It really looks like a nice piece of tech. What? <laughs> What's particular of this printer is that it comes on a single Z uh, axis. The plate goes up and down. It's a full metal enclosed printer. It's all metal. You can actually feel how, I mean, how firm and stiff this printer is. I mean, you will lean it on a table. It will not go anywhere and everything is in the right spot. As mentioned, it's a monochrome uh, printer and it promises 18 millimeters per hour to 39 millimeters per hour as speed. Now that we have an overview on what the printer looks like and what are its specs, I want to show you some of the prints I've done. And I started printing the model that was included on the pen, on the USB pen. This is a Nova 3D logo, as you can see like level of details is beyond any other FDM printer. You can see it's still a bit dirty. I'm waiting for 
my wash my new wash and cure machine so i had to wash it by hand that's my mistake but details are there and they look amazing on the usb there was another model of an octopus i really like it it looks like a steampunk octopus let me see if i can focus this there you go and this came out really nice i don't know if you can appreciate the details on on the head of the octopus it's really nice i mean when i passed from uh, fdm to resin when i got my first resin printer i wasn't expecting for such a le level of details and uh, resin printer deliver in a way that he will not expect so if you never had the resin printer expect for something beautiful of course we're talking about a messy office i mean you need to have a washing cure you need to put gloves your mask on and stuff like that so it's a little bit annoying to clean them but the process at the end gives you results that really look uh, professional they don't look like they came out of a printer inside uh, someone's apartment they look like more commercial or something that was bought in a shop that had a proper production then <clears throat> I wanted to test Christmas is coming and I wanted to test some of the bowls that some of the Christmas uh, hanging bowls that I've seen and I printed out this impossible bowl and as you can see there's three or four balls inside that curve and resin left a little bit of elasticity as you can see on the, on the ball considering that all the layers are nice and thin and the lines are really really well made so i think i'm gonna paint this gold and hang it on my christmas tree christmas is close so i'm gonna start thinking of it then of course i wanted to print something that went a little bit more in detail i found this model on uh, on internet i don't know if thingiverse or cult i think it's in both this is a squid game chibi model and I was stoked when I see this coming out. I mean, the model itself, it's really, really well made, but the Mini 3 actually delivered a beautiful product. Here you can see a hole because I did it hollow. I didn't want to use too much resin, but I mean, for 170 euros on Amazon, it's a no-brainer not to get a printer like that. I mean, you get a really fast and reliable uh, SLA printer that can deliver stuff like this. I mean, my colleagues at work got crazy for this model and they're asking me to print others because they want them as well. They want them sitting on their desk. What else I printed was this Pikachu turtle that's all full of details on the stomach. I, I don't know, I can remember the model of... I will link it down below because it really looks nice. And the printer performed amazingly. This fell on the floor. It was hollow, so the, the, the tail broke and I had to glue it. But even though, as you can see, I mean, it delivers. It's a printer that delivers. It's reliable, it's kind of fast, and uh, I mean, for the price, again, it's a great, great printer. So let's recap what, in my opinion, are the good and the bad of this printer. The good is that it's a total metal frame. It's one firm piece 
and I love when a printer is like that. I know it's reliable. The Z axis is only on one line and it's all metal. I mean, you can actually feel quality in it. I love the design. I love the fact that it's Wi-Fi. I love the touch screen and uh, it stands alone as a design piece. I really like it. What I don't like is that when you send a file from your slicer through Wi-Fi, if your USB is not connected, you will not send anything because it doesn't have an internal storage. So a little bit of an internal storage would have been nice. The last thing I don't like is that all the cabling is done on the back. As you can see, USB door, AC plug, they're all on the back. And you know, it's a bit of a hassle, especially when you stand when it's standing on a shelf and there's stuff around it. You need to turn it around and you could drop your resin while you're moving it. So that's a little bit uncomfortable. But that said, it's a great bargain for the price. As, it, as you saw, details are there and it delivers quality. This printer from Nova 3D is another uh, example on how progress can put price down but keep quality very, very high. That was all for today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Smash the like button if you did like the video. Subscribe if you're not yet subscribed and I'll see you guys on the next video, probably a comparison between this and the Elfin 2 Mono SE.